Andy Chandler, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations. Uh, the last I checked, I mean, you guys are almost at like 3 million views on YouTube, which, which is great. I'm glad this film is, is getting out. Uh, Andy, tell me a little bit behind the inspiration of, of uh, The Spider. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, the spy. I mean, the Spider-Man yeah, comics and stuff and like uh, the TV show, even like the cartoon in the 90s, um, there was like uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of places to pull inspiration from. So when I first came up with the idea, I kind of like researched a lot of like different uh, multiverse like versions and stuff and kind of just pulled inspiration from from different stuff like that. But also big fan of like horror stuff like uh, 80s like Cronenberg stuff and like uh, the thing and kind of took a lot of visual inspiration from that as well. Um, but yeah, kind of just all over the place really. And Chandler, I know it's a, it's a nine minute film, but you know, you leave quite a mark on, on, a, on a version of Peter Parker. Tell me what that was like for you. Thank you. Yeah, it was, it was, it was so much fun. Like getting to, getting to play it at, a childhood dream character you know it was just it was so so cool getting to getting to bring him to life and to really like reverse engineer so much about him and and uh you know and yeah yeah it was so, so such a cool learning experience to dive so deep into that character and then try to just pack as much as i can into 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 that you know that nine minutes that i could it was uh it was a really fun challenge and a really fun experience to to get the opportunity to have and and Andy, speaking of you know packing you know that much into it, you know, tell me about the creative process in in building a, a proper script, and you know to make sure that in the nine minutes that we're watching the film, that we're watching Chandler as Peter, um, that you know we really understand the character that we're that we're getting here because I thought it was very very well done. Thanks. Yeah, I definitely. Um, I mean, the budget was tight. It was I funded it all from just like savings and just pulling favors and asking for like my friends to help out and stuff like that. Um, so I knew we couldn't do too long of a thing. Like I know there's fan films online that has, it's like over an hour long and stuff like that. But um, I just want to make sure like in the script to have scenes that are the most essential, like can that tell the story. And there's just like a few things that I, I knew I, I wanted in there. Um, but eventually, yeah, like the first half of it was supposed to be like, traditional origin story i like referenced some like the original comics and stuff um and then uh and even like some nods to like the previous spider-man uh movies and stuff and then and then the second half of it was kind of just go all out with as much like creepy body horror uh elements as i could um but yeah i mean i pretty much writing it just had i just had to make sure everything was like the most important thing to put in not there's no like filler and stuff and um yeah Keep was there any space. was there anything that you left out maybe that you wanted in there or is that something that maybe you leave on the back burner it's like if this is successful enough maybe we could do something else in the future yeah i mean there's there's some characters that i'd be down to introduce um and like maybe some scenes that uh, could have been thrown in as well um i think it was like a time and budget thing but i mean now that we've gotten so much uh like positive response i mean if if it's something that people really want to see more of i think i mean potentially you could kind of do do those scenes and introduce those characters but maybe and chandler i'm assuming you're you're open to coming back and continuing to to uh, play this character uh which actually yeah. uh, leads me to the question was that you underneath the prosthetics yeah yeah um yeah i mean yeah i would, love, would absolutely love to come back and Andy and i were talking about potential you know stuff so um yeah i would love would love to and it's uh yeah such a such a just cool opportunity but yeah that was me in the suit um that was that was uh a, a few days before production andy was sending me photos of the suit and it was it was like oh this is like crazy what is get what are we gonna be doing um uh, and then he asked if i wanted to be the one in the suit and i said yes please that would be so so cool and uh it was tough to work out logistically because, you know, it, take, it would take a couple hours to get me into all the makeup and everything. And we only have two days to shoot. So it was, uh, it was pretty tight, but, uh, but yeah, we pulled it off and it was, it was really fun and uh, very claustrophobic, but it was a, it was a, it was a blast. It was, it was like with the arms and like all the stuff coming out and all the blood and crazy makeup. And um, yeah, it was really cool. See, one of the aspects of horror that I really, really enjoy is that, is not to show me the monster. 
And, and I think that because we spend so much time watching the transformation just very, very slowly and subtly, even though it's nine minutes, but when we get that reveal, it's impactful, it's, it's gross. It's, and and I, I love that because I, I really made me think about, you know, the superhero genre where, where things like this happen, but they happen very conveniently to where he gets the powers he needs. No one ever thinks of like, nah, if, if a spider bites him, he could probably be shooting webs out of his butt. I've heard that joke a <laughs> million times. Uh, <laughs> um, tell me, uh, this is a question for both of you guys. How does how does su the superhero genre offer itself so well at times to horror? Yeah, I mean, I think it definitely does. I mean, especially the spider. I mean, Spider-Man, the origin story, I mean, it's a radioactive spider. So like when I was writing the script, I was definitely like researching what radiation poisoning would do to a person and you do lose your hair you start losing teeth like that's these are the actual like steps that like a grounded realistic version of the story would go um but obviously we want to like give the fans a little bit from, you know give them the wall climbing abilities and a couple uh you know the speed and the strength and stuff like that and then just take it as far as we could you know so um yeah and and so uh you guys uh, so did, was the entire shoot only done in two days or did you guys shoot for a couple more days? Yeah, it was a two day shoot. Um, yeah, we, the, the original plan was two days. And then, and then later on during the editing process, we came up with the idea of doing the post credit scene. So that one was done with, I mean, it was like a way smaller crew. It was just a few of us. Um, and then we just like reused the suit and, uh, my friend made like a, like a more advanced version of the spider mask. And we just kind of shot that out in a, a couple hours and then we just like threw it in in the, in the end, just for a little extra bonus scene. So so how challenging was that shoot for you, uh, Chandler? Because like, I, I'm thinking specifically of of like um, the the school scene where you pop your head up and it's just like super gross. I'm, just, I'm assuming there's a lot of time in getting ready for that. And of course, there's a big reveal at the end. Uh, you know, how challenging was that for you? Oh, man. I mean, it, it's it was... Uh... <laughs> it was actually it was a moment during that classroom scene because we were doing so much crazy stuff that um i had just gotten kind of numb to like us doing crazy things and me screaming and r seizing you know basically um uh but then we had we had uh some of the crew members in the scene and some extras and uh and for, for that scene specifically you know i come up and then i start like shaking and screaming and then <laughs> you know after this they cut everyone is like what the f like are you good man and i'm like oh yeah i'm good and they kind of like brought me back I'm like oh yeah this is kind of crazy like <laughs> what this scene is and what we're doing um there is so that was a fun moment of just kind of rooting myself in reality of like um yeah this is insane and uh a lot of fun at the same time i mean it looks like it was, it was a lot of fun what is what is both of your reaction really to the, to the positive uh reviews and the positive really outpour of support that you guys have been getting uh, so far it's, it's, been amazing. it's yeah. so awesome yeah 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 it's i, I mean I, it's kind of surreal just like seeing all the like how much people how many people love this like this version and like how many people want to see more and like just kind of going through the comments like i, I try to keep up with as much of the comments and see what people think and stuff um i mean i love that people are catching the references from like different uh, the different like comics and stuff that I kind of drew inspiration from. There's like, I saw there's comments. I was like, Oh, Chandler's way better than Tom Holland. <laughs> and like, it's just different, you know, that, and like this even stuff that I didn't really think about. Uh, I think a couple of people mentioned that, Oh, like uh, Chandler gets more like, cause in walking dead, he only has one eye and this one, he has extra <laughs> eyes and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, all the, all the responses have been amazing. I, I love it. Like, yeah. It's, Chandler, for you, what is it? What is it like to be, you know, advocated for to, you know, what he that you know is a pretty good Peter Parker. I I thought you were. You were very convincing from the beginning, which uh, which in a way also kind of maybe just tiny bit sad because it's like, oh, he's gonna he's gonna turn into a spider. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it was just 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 so cool. Like, I mean, it's from as as an actor, you don't know if what you did however many months ago if it was any good so you just kind of like have to just hope that you didn't suck by the time you you come around and watch the uh watch the full thing but um i remember seeing the trailer and uh and 
it's you know it's, and it's hard as well like when you're watching it and watching the final product it's hard to like not see the production side of it you know and like um kind of uh it's hard it's hard to see it you know as as with just fresh eyes and i remember i showed it to my girlfriend and she was like you you look like peter parker like you're a good peter parker and i'm like what that's awesome I'm like yes all right i i, I kind of did it you know so it was, it was really really cool to yeah get to have that gratification I remember, yeah. I remember I think on set, like, at, like we posted a couple, like a screenshot or sent it to a friend or something. And immediately we got responses with like people like stitching together, like screenshot from our thing with like the, the PlayStation version, like the, like the video game one. And like, honestly, yeah, you do definitely do look like Peter Parker for sure. Yeah, it, it's great. And, and honestly, I think one of the, you know, beyond just, just the, um, how good I thought the film was just, just a real great showpiece to to show that you know if you're passionate about something and if you have the means for it go out and make your film because you never know what kind of great response you're going to get you're going to have a great time like you guys did uh gentlemen uh andy and chandler thank you so much for your time it uh it was really fun to talk to you guys really fun to check out this film and i hope uh many more do and i hope we get more of it i, I really do thanks man i appreciate it